It's a risk to only use one arm pressure and all our guidance suggests both arms be used because we've got the risk of under diagnosing significant peripheral arterial disease. It's nice guidelines state that you, you measure both arm pressures and it's something I do in practice. Uh, my concern would be that if you only measure one you might misdiagnose PAD. Um, I think it's important because the arm pressures can be different um, on each side so there can be up to 10 to 15 millimetres of mercury difference which can actually make a big difference on our outcome of doing an ABI. Well, it's essential that you measure both arm pressures because there is a risk that if you only measure one pressure you may take the lower uh, end of the, that spectrum in terms of the two pressures and when you're doing your ABPI you may get an inaccurate result. If we've got a breaking pressure of 160 in this arm, 110 in this arm and we've only used 110 as our reference point if we then go on to find that it's 110 millimetres of pressure in either of the legs, we would give that a normal result, whereas with 160 we'll be diagnosing PAD. If we only do one side, then we could have a one diagnosis, and if we don't do both sides, then that can be a potentially an accurate diagnosis. You want to make sure you've got an accurate reading, so you can have a variation between two arms. So it would uh, concern me slightly if, if we missed misdiagnosed PAD. This has got implications of course for treatment and clinical decision making and we could have risky or inappropriate treatments with underdiagnosis of PAD for sim uh, common things like leg ulcers, foot ulcers and nail surgery decisions uh, and for clinician and patient this will be a significant risk. And also guidelines are very clear, the NICE guidelines and the task to state that they advocate that both sides should be done and from a clinical perspective as well that's what we would advocate in our services. Most of the guidance around this supports the test that has two arms, so we've got the task guidance and we've got the NICE guidelines and all these indicate that we should be using two arms to get a really accurate ABPI. Um, to misdiagnosis can actually be detrimental for patients because it can lead to us not referring when appropriate. We may not pick up that there is a problem there and it may make that difference for our patients' outcomes.